Drawing lines is the most fundamental operation of any CAD system and you can see the importance of the line command as it appears as the very first command in the home tab. Let's get some experience drawing lines expertly, but first I'm going to come down to the status bar and turn on object snap, object tracking, and polar mode. And we'll see how those help drawing lines more accurately. So let's come up here to the ribbon, click line, and then click in the drawing to start the line. Now when I move the cursor to show the end of the line, notice the green dashed line with the word polar. That's polar tracking and it's telling me that I'm drawing the line perfectly horizontal. You can see the length of the line there, 161 units, and then the angle bracket indicates the degrees, which is zero. So I will come along and click a point and then press enter to end the command. Once the line is drawn, I can edit it directly. When I select the line by clicking on it, three grips appear. The ones at the ends change the angle and the length of the line. Press escape to get out of that one. The center grip moves the line without changing its angle or length. Press escape once to stop using the grip. Press escape a second time to unselect the line. Let's repeat the line command. You can do that easily by pressing the space bar. Pressing the space bar repeats the last command in NanoCAD. Now I'm going to come to the end of this line. Notice the tooltip saying endpoint and the green box. This is using object snap where NanoCAD finds geometric features of entities in the drawing and then lets you draw with absolute precision. It's selected the end of this line and I'm going to click to start the new line. I'm now drawing perfectly vertically and you can see the tooltip telling me I'm drawing it 90 degrees. Click to end that line and continue with the next one. Now I want to be able to finish the line precisely with the same length as the other one. So I'll come down here and use object tracking to grab the end of this line. And as I move up, notice that NanoCAD is telling me the line is perpendicular in both directions, to the previous line and to the original line. And all I need to do is click and it's been drawn. Now I'll draw with the other line to the end point, click and that's done. To finish drawing, I can press enter or right click and then choose enter from the shortcut menu. Although this looks like a rectangle, it's actually four independent lines. When I select this one, notice that only the one segment is selected. However, if I select all four of them at once, NanoCAD treats the four as a single entity. So I can grab this corner and when I move it, it moves both lines. To undo this change to them, I can enter in U and press enter. That's short for the undo command and NanoCAD returns the way it was before. Now I've shown you where to find the line command on the ribbon. If you come over here and click this button, you then switch to the toolbars and menu interface. Line command is under the draw menu and there it is there. Or you can press the shortcut of control alt L to start the command and in the draw toolbar over here. tools that I mentioned, object snap, object tracking, and polar mode are so important I'll show you a second example of using them. So I have two boxes here and I'm going to draw a line from the corner of one to the other. Start the line command by typing L. L is known as the alias for the line command so I just type L, press enter, which is a really fast way to start the command. And then I move my cursor over here and you can see that object snap found the endpoint of this line and now I'll draw over here and object snap found the endpoint of the other line. I click, press enter, and the line is drawn. Now let's try a bit more complex example. I'm going to start at this corner, draw halfway, go down to 50 units, and then come to an end equal to this point. So let me press the space bar to repeat the line command. I'll come over here and pause the cursor over the end. Object snap finds the end. I click to start the line. And now to draw it halfway across, I move the cursor over here until the object snap finds the midpoint. I don't click. I just carefully move the cursor straight down until it finds the intersection of the midpoint and the other perpendicular. So now I can click to place that point. Notice that it's halfway across. Now I can use something called direct distance where I simply move the cursor in the direction I want the line drawn and then type in a value on the keyboard. In this case, I'm gonna type 50. 
and now the line is drawn 50 units long. Now I want to finish the line in line with here. So I will once again move the cursor to that point, bring it back down until the perpendicular is found, click, press enter the end of the command, and now you have some precisely drawn lines. Sometimes you want to be able to draw precisely using given X and Y, Z coordinates. NanoCAD accommodates you. So let's go down to the command bar here. And I'm going to type L to start the line command. And notice that it says specify first point. I'm going to enter in 0, 0, and that's the origin. And when I move the cursor, you can see that it's starting at the intersection of the UCS icon. The UCS icon shows you the X and Y directions in the drawing. Now the prompt says specify next point, and so let's just put in some numbers here. 360 comma, oh, let's make it 750.4, and there we have the next line. Press enter to end. Now if you want to be able to edit those coordinates precisely, select the line, but this time ignore the blue grips. Instead, come over to the properties bar, and here you see the starting coordinates, 0, 0, and then the ending coordinates, 360 and 750. Let's change this one to also 750 so we can see the difference. I type in 750, press enter, and the end of the line is moved. Similarly, you can come down here to change the angle. So let's try an angle of 30, press enter, and the angle of the line is changed. The length of the line can also be changed. Let's make that a precise 1000, and the line is shortened. When we draw a plan, we don't have the X and Y coordinates of every item to be drawn. Rather, we work with distances such as 1,000 units followed by 300 units followed by 400 units. Let's see how this is done in NanoCAD. I'm going to press L to start the line command. And I'm going to grab the end of this line. At the specify next point prompt, I'm going to type in the at symbol, which means it's going to be a relative distance from that pick point. 300 and an angle bracket, which means angle and then 90 degrees, and then at 400 of an angle of negative 45 degrees. And so we've drawn these lines based on their lengths. But NanoCAD does have an easier way of doing this. When you come down to the status bar, click DIN, and this does dynamic input. Once again, start the line command, grab the end of this line, but this time notice that NanoCAD is telling you the length and the angle of the line in real time. The distance is highlighted in blue. So let's type in the 300 there. Now I'm going to press the tab key and put in that 90 degrees from earlier. And now we can draw the next line, which is 400. And then I'll put in the angle of negative 45, press enter, and we have the same result. Mm -hmm.